Five bucks. I'll think about it. Everybody's looking, but they don't. Don't see. Find everything you want. Can you swim, Grandma? I don't know. I I don't think I've ever tried. Why? I was thinking of going to the Olympics. I don't think that you could swim to the Olympics. No, I was thinking of swimming at the Olympics. <laughs> Silly me. I think that's really great, baby. So anybody could do it at you. What's in your pocket? What are you talking about? I don't have anything in my pocket. Show me what's in your pocket. I'm not showing you anything. I'm calling the cops. No, please, you don't, please, you don't want to do that. Please, you don't need to do that. Please, please, excuse me. May I use your phone for just a moment, please? Please, I'll give it right back, I promise. Please, please, I don't, it's so important, please. I don't have many minutes. Okay, thank you yeah. so much. You've got merchandise in your pocket, and you haven't paid for it. I don't have your wine. I never took your wine! Look, I never said you took wine. You just said it! Don't you know I have kids? Should have thought of that, ma'am. Where are your kids now? Oh, hang on a second. Hello? Mom. Mom? I could run, you know. Who is this? Mom. Mom. Oh, God, child. What have you gotten yourself into now? We're on our way. <sighs> That, Mom? Yes. Give me my phone. All right. She has a bottle on her, and she didn't pay for it. I don't have a bottle. I've never had a bottle. Give me my phone. Whose phone is that? It's her phone. She just lent it to me. Grandma, what's happening with Mom? I'm scared. I'm scared. You, you just need to relax, OK? Just relax. I don't have any wine. That is not mine. That's not mine. Seriously, that is not my. No. No, no, Turn no. Around. Please, please. Hold still. No. We we'll stay right here, and I'll be right back. Yes, Are you serious right now? No, get up. You're hurting me. Get off of me. What are you doing? Who are you, ma'am? I'm her mother. What did she do? In custody. Gonna bring her in. For what? Ma'am, theft, public intoxication, possession of controlled substance, oh, resisting Mary. arrest. Mary, Mary. Let's go, ma'am. Get off of me! Get off of me! This does not give you the right to manhandle me. Mom, be gentle with Mom. her! Be Mom. gentle with her! Let's relax. She's my child. Can you just be gentle with her? You can arrest me too? Excuse me, ma'am. You want to see her come down the hair corpse? You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God will cut you down. Sooner or later, God will cut you down. 
Go tell that long tongue liar. Go and tell that midnight rider. Tell the rambler, the gambler, the backbiter. Tell them that God's gonna cut them down. Tell them that God's gonna cut them down. Well, my goodness gracious, let me tell you the news. My head's been awake with that midnight dew. Well, I've been down on bended knee, talking to the man from Galilee. He spoke to me in a voice so sweet. I thought I heard the shuffle of an angel's feet. He called my name and my heart stood still. When he said, John, go do my will, go tell that long tongue liar. Go and tell that midnight rider. Tell the rambler, the gambler, the backbiter. Tell them that God's gonna cut them down. Tell them that God's gonna cut them down. Daddy. Oh, I'll just... It'll be all right. Don't yeah. die, Daddy. I'm not gonna die. I don't plan on it, okay? I'll come back to be with you. I love you, Michelle. Take care of your mom, okay? <laughs> be a big girl, okay? I'm counting on you. Put it there. Well, you may throw your rock or hide your hand. Working in the dark against your fellow man. But as sure as God made black and white, what's down in the dark will be brought to the light. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later. Go and tell that long tongue liar. Go and tell that midnight rider. Tell the rambler, the gambler, the backbiter. Tell them the God who cut them down. Tell them the God who cut them down. Tell them the God who cut them down. Mm mm mm. Yowza. What you got, baby girl? You got a law, Ooh. man. Can't you tell? Yeah, she got it, but she ain't showing nothing. Good that. idea. Show us. Get out of my way. Ho, ho, ho. Smart. She got a mouth on her, ain't she? Dirty little mouth. You know, you think this is your sidewalk? Why don't you take off those clothes? Let's show us what you got under there. You want to mess with me? Hey. Come on. Ah! 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 your business, Nanny. Leave her alone. Shoot! Don't say your Hail Marys. We're full. No beds. You drink? Drugs? Do you understand? No bed. I understand. I'll sleep in the kitchen or even curl up in a corner. No, don't get me in trouble. We have no free bed. They're all looking for shelter tonight. There you go. It's small, but no one will bother you here. Thank you. Here's a blanket. Breakfast is at 6, and you're out the door at 8. Got it? I got it. Thank you, sister. You're safe for the night, child. Where's your mother, child? Needs me. You can be anywhere.
You're not afraid of the water, are you, child? Nope. I'm a water baby. Well, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Do you promise to serve the Lord to the best of your abilities, child? Yes, I do. Time to get up. On your feet. Yeah, I'm going. I want my mom back. We talk, we may get somewhere. Yeah, says who? We can have a conversation. Might be useful. Want a bit? Look, the judge has asked for reports. He wants to help, believe it or not. My job is to write those reports. I can help you if you can help me. I can tell him what you what you tell me about yourself. We, we can work together and figure out what's going on with you. You're kidding, right? What are you gonna do? Tell the judge that my mom made me crazy? That she was mean to me and made me stupid? Do you think the judge is gonna let me walk off? I don't think so. So your mom was mean to you then? No, she was all right. It was my dad who screwed me up. What was he like? Oh, so you're gonna play your little game with me, right? No, you ain't getting me like that. What was he like? If you really wanna know, he beat my mom, he beat me, he beat my brother. Hell, everybody caught it. And that's all I'm gonna say about it. That's all I'm saying. No tricks, right? No tricks. You can try all you want, but I am who I am and I always will be. Is she going to make it out? Just relax. She's going to be out. And I think things are going to be a lot different now. OK? Just you sure about that? There she is. Look, she's over there now. I'm out of that place, thank God. Yes, you are. I'm never going back to that place again. That's a possibility. You want to talk stuff to me? I've done my time, so you can save it, OK? Mom, get in the car. TV all day, or are you gonna do something? You're useless, you're no good, and you always have. And that's the truth! <laughs> 
What? You want to beat me? No. I want to kill you. Get off of me. I want to kill you. Stop. You're going to kill me. Guys, stop. Stop. I'm so... I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so... I'm so Stop. I can't, I can't take it anymore. Stop. Stop. I can't take it, God. Please. Grandma, listen, honey. I don't want to upset you, but... I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to go today. I, I don't want to go to church today. Well, you did upset me. I, I am upset. That's not what I intended. Not, not for the world. I just, I just need some time to think and figure things out. Well, just, you know what? Michelle, just do what you need to do. I, I, I'm going to church and you just need to do what you gotta do. I'm just tired. I'm just tired. I don't know what to do with her. Well, I'll just keep praying, Sally. You okay? I'm, I'm, I'm just really upset. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Good to see you, okay? Thank you. And you know I'm always here. I appreciate you. All right. All Thank right. you. Okay. Where's my tackle box, Michelle? What does it look like? The green one! The only one I've ever had! Where is it? Dad, I haven't seen it. You've been freaking selling my stuff, huh? You've been freaking selling my stuff till your mama no, get high? No way! She get drunk, huh? Where is it, Michelle? Where is it? Dad, I don't know. Yeah, sure. This is my strip, so get out of here. Don't you know that? I don't see. You want to get cut, girl? Because I will. No. See? See? Hey, I didn't mean anything. What is your problem? My problem is, is that this street is mine, and you ain't taking it over. So go on. You got a home to go to, then go. I don't have a home, and I'm just hanging here. <laughs> don't give me that. How old are you anyway? 21. <laughs> yeah, and a pig's ear you are. What are you, 18, 19? 18. That's better. Street life ain't for you. 
Let's go on, will you? I'm going. No more than I need to know about these streets. Hey. You want some business? Get lost. You want a 20. That won't buy you nothing. Not you. The young one. Jesus is gonna strike you dead for your dirty mouth. I'm talking to you. Would you stay out of this? I'm negotiating. What you want, girl? Will you go away? Go on. Get out of here. She could have done me a pleasure right there. And I could have done her a pleasure, too. Wait a minute. You get thrown out? Family kick you out? No. What happened then? Dad went to war. Messed him up. Where'd he go? Afghanistan. Did his head in. About your mama? She's... Not around. My mom is just a drunk. I don't know. You stay off these streets, you hear? This ain't no place for you. Okay? Yeah, whatever. If I could do this all again, be 18, know what I'd do? I'd stay out of here. Okay? Here. Get yourself something to eat. Don't come back here. Go on. Tell him that I marched for him until the arches of my feet collapsed to the floor. Like that military mom who gets that knock at the door. Tell him that the only thing scarier is when he comes back still breathing, but hollow as a Baghdad apartment complex, gutted by your precision-guided collateral damage, post-traumatic landmines in the corners of a smile. Tell me, what the hell am I supposed to talk about with this kid? Huh? About the Afghanistan vet who totaled his car trying to avoid a bag of garbage in Minnesota. About how the war turned his brain box into a hurt locker. IEDs in his tears exploding like arguments. His mouth is a rocket launcher shooting insults through their wedding vows. Their conversations are exercises in shock and awe. So how is she supposed to drive home the truth when her mouth is a Humvee and his fist a roadside mm. bomb? from heaven.
Hey, girl, what up? Want a party? No, thanks. Hey, I got this stuff. Make you feel good. I got these little blue ones. You scared? I'm not scared, and you don't scare me. Hold on, hold on. I know her. You cute. Come on, come party. Take your mind off your troubles. I know her. You want to dance? Not with you. Huh? Young man. Young man. Leave her alone. She said she didn't want to dance. You want to dance? Huh? You need to beat it, you punk-ass pastor. Hey, hey, be careful now. You OK? Me and her are friends, pal. Get lost. Let me tell you what's going to happen now. You're going to go home, and you're going to stop peddling drugs on these streets and in these neighborhoods. You understand me? Do you understand me? Go home. Get out of here. Hey. You okay? Yeah, thank you. What are you doing out in the alley? I was just headed home. This time of evening? It's not safe. Michelle, you're not out here homeless, are you? No. You sure? Yeah. Well, can we drop you somewhere? You drop me home. Okay, all right. Come on, put her in, it. Put her in the back. You still out, live off of Michigan, right? Yeah. Okay. She's right off of Michigan. Can just go up here and make a right. Thanks for the ride. Sorry. Hey, you stole my candy bar. So? What are you doing out this late anyway? I can be out. You got a home to go to? Yeah, I got a home. Yeah? Yeah, I got a home. What do you think? You got a home? No. Oh. Uh, hey, I'll show you some place you can sleep tonight if you want. I thought you had a home. <laughs> well, show you anyway. Okay. Oh, hey, uh, buy your candy bar? It was delicious. Ha <laughs> 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 Hilarious. So nicely to Welcome in. Make yourself comfortable. Hey, where's your family? Don't got none. Uh, your mom? Why don't you get settled in? You can spend the night. Okay. Do 
you ever think about God? Yeah, sometimes. We say he's looking out for us. Yeah. That'd be great. Get up. No. Come on, get up. You gotta go to school. Leave me alone. I, I can't believe that. So here we have the nearest thing to the great American novel, The Great Gatsby. Mr. Fitzgerald surveys America, money, class, our values, in a way no one ever had before and no one has since. So go read it. Uh, excuse me, miss. She's asleep. I noticed. But she's snoring. She probably needs the rest. You guys, go read the book. The essay subject will be up online in a bit. Five pages are due by Thursday. Are you getting enough rest at home? Yeah, of course. Well, take care of yourself then. You're gonna need it. Sorry, miss. You like her. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. She's all right. Her dad went crazy and no. kicked her out. No. You hungry? No? No, that's OK. I'll get it for you. I don't need you to. You don't have to do that. Um, I can do it. Dad, I'm going to get the sandwich, OK? Here you go. Thank you. No problem. This is going to go on your account. Yeah, I thought so. What's going on? What? The one room in the school with books is closed. Come out with your hands up. You're surrounded. All right, I think it's closed. You don't have anywhere else you can do your homework? Mm-mm. Well, I have a spot. Come with me. Come on.
you doing here? Sleeping. What is that? It's space gun. What about your pipe? What of it? Nothing. Hey, uh, you ever been to the rail yard downtown? I go there when it's cold sometimes. Mm. Uh uh. Come on. What about that? Yeah, someone will use it. Okay. Ezekiel, this is my friend. Hello. Yeah, I see her on the streets. Hey, boy, you hungry? I, no, I'm okay. Uh, you sure? I got some bread. It's a little old. Got a little magazine mold on it. <laughs> but it's okay. How about you? I'm good. You good? Yeah. Oh, man. Well, draw on up a little closer and get your body warm. Get some <laughs> of this good heat, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> this is Ezekiel. He looks out for me. Hey, soldier man, you hungry? Uh, hey, man, hey, we got food. The youngsters didn't eat, man. You welcome? Uh, Is he all right? He left half his brain in Kandahar. Yeah. If you get found, you're gonna be in trouble. How are they gonna find me? There's kids everywhere. Hey, what's up? I don't know. You can blow this whole school thing out. Can't do it. Are you crazy? Probably, but I'm beat. 
You ain't giving up school. I mean, don't, you gotta stick at that. Don't you know that? Oh, I don't know that. What's wrong with you? Are, are you nuts? Just, you... You're worth more than that. Everything is wrong. What do you know? Just a kid anyway. I'm 16. I know plenty. Hey, uh... What's he want? Beats me. I have no idea. What you want? I thought you gone. I'm going to Rio, so I won't be here. Let's go, Michelle. Wait. Who the hell is that? I don't know. Just kind of tagged along. Is that your main squeeze? No. Huh? No. He looks out of it. On something for sure. What you want? I know you. you. It's it's you. What's your name? Um, Pete. Pete. I know you, soldier. Uh, but I haven't seen you since Kandahar. I, I took you off the field with half your head hanging off. How the hell are you? Towel heads, I mean, they got you big time, but look at you. Wow. Glad to see you're walking, man. Hell but glad to see you're walking. I know you, soldier. You were my longtime backup. It's bad there, Michelle. Afghanistan really messed me up. Messed me up properly, it did. Here they are, ready to take me away. Can you take my buddy? Sorry, soldier. I can't help you. You watch out for him, okay? Hey, when I get out of rehab, I'll come find you, okay? Remember, God's on your side. Where are you going? Leave him. He'll be fine. Okay. See, uh, your dad was supposed to be some kind of hero, right? I guess so. Let's go. What's wrong? Is it a... Is it okay? I think so. Come on.
Grandma! Grandma! Ma'am? Ma'am? Grandma! Are you okay, ma'am? Grandma, what happened? I don't know what happened. Are you okay? I don't know what happened. You want us to call 911, ma'am? No, don't be silly. Grandma, you fell. I know. I know. Just, just. I'm okay. Did Daniel leave? They picked him up. He's gone. Mm. Who's that? That's Maki. He's my friend. Are you sure you don't want us to call the paramedics? You had a phone, man. No, don't be silly. Where's Mom? Oh, she's gone. She's just, you know how she is. Mm. Do you want to stay? That's okay. Oh, uh, no, no, I, I'm fine, ma'am, really. Why don't you stay? You can make him some, see him make him something to eat. He's hungry. Is mom gonna be okay? Mm. Baby girl, she's just lost. She's lost. You should try out. I don't know. I don't think I can do that. I think you should. I mean, you're already an athlete. With those legs, you'd be perfect. What? Oh, no, I don't yeah. think I can do it. I definitely <laughs> cannot yeah, do yeah, that. Going. No way. It's gonna happen. I have to tell you. No. So what do you try out? Swimming? Swimming. Mm, I don't know. It's fun. You might enjoy yourself. I know. It just sounds like a really big commitment. It is a big commitment. Yeah. Hello. My life is. Everything is. Mm. Okay. Okay? All right. Nice. See you around. See ya. Are you okay? Are you okay? <coughs> yeah, I think so. On your feet and stand right there. Rebecca, can you do 50 meters with Michelle? Yes, coach. Good luck. Thank you. All right, I want you to go as fast as you can, okay? All right, Rebecca. Nice work, Rebecca. You made her go, huh? So listen, a little bit of work, but welcome to the team. Woo! Hey, you coming hey. to the fire? I guess so. Oh, hey, you look like you've been swimming. Yeah, I raised another girl. She's the same. Oh, really? She whooped your ass? Right? No, as a matter of fact, she didn't. Oh, you won? Came close. <laughs> well, that ain't much. I'll get her next time. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Hey, uh, I can't swim. What's it like? I'll teach you. Huh? <clears throat> hey, soldier. Are you hungry? I have some bread. You can take it. I know you guys had it tough. Are you still hungry? I'm going to the camp. Thank you.
What do we have here? Cheese. Okay, I got ham and cheese for everybody, bologna. Pass me some more. Here you go, young man. God bless you. Come on, get a ham. You want something, man? You okay, man? Let me, let me yes. see that. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. How'd you get that cut? Do we have a Band-Aid? He's going to take you over here. Put a Band-Aid on her. <coughs> Some alcohol or something in there. You'll be okay. Go with him. All right. Michelle, what are you doing out here? I'm just helping my friend Mackie. You're not lying to me, are you? Okay, well, don't be out here too late. You know, your grandma will be worried about you. Let me have some more. Thank you. God bless you. Come on. God bless you. Everybody's looking up, they don't. Don't see me. They look right through me. Everybody's looking, but they don't. Don't see me. They look right through me. Everybody's looking, but they don't. Don't see me. One Sunday we, uh, well, we get, we get bombed. Um, and we're just laying there in our underwear, you know, because it's that freaking hot. And, and then it happened. Sorry. And my best friend, he, um, his leg got blown off. He had an arterial wound, and he's looking up at me. Like, I'm the one who's done it. And you know what? I felt like I did. I mean, I have, I have both of my legs. Can you believe that? What happened then? Then there were just bodies moving everywhere. I mean, people squirming against the wall, and, and some people were still. Rounds exploding and, and smoke everywhere. And, and there were soldiers just screaming and yelling. And people, people are running. For those that could, anyway. Um, Why are you crying? You signed up, didn't you? I mean, what did you think was going to happen? Summer camp? I don't know, do I? What are you looking at? Why are you all looking at me? Ain't it the truth? You go 12,000 miles, shoot them up. What do you think they're gonna do? Bouncy castles of cupcakes? Huh? Daniel might be a little harsh. Yeah, leave him alone. No, he's right. Were you there? Were you there? Huh? I was. 
I was a soldier. I signed. Boredom, shitty food, blood all over. You try it, then you tell me all about it. I was there too. You weren't the only one. You got a family? Not anymore. You see, that's what, that's what happens. I'm there with you. God bless you. Where were you yesterday? You were supposed to be at the pool. Sorry. Do you want to win or not? Are not even qualified for the finals, more likely. It's up to you. Look, I've got elite girls at 6.30. If you're serious, you come do 40. If not, don't bother to come. That's not fair, coach. Life isn't fair. Everyone's got 10 reasons to quit. I haven't given up. Are you sure? My mom's in prison. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. But are you going to let that break you? Come do 40. Come on. Keep those knees in. This isn't bicycling. It's the wrong sport. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. So remember, next time on the last 20 meters, keep your stroke tight, okay? Keep your rhythm. Coach, I'm too tired by then. Are you listening to me? Of course you're too tired by then. We're all too tired by then. But that's what separates the winners from everybody else, okay? Remember, when you fight against the water, the water always wins, all right? So make friends with the water, merge with the water, and you'll do fine. <laughs> So there's this spot under nearby highway. It's got this grass is slow. I think too steep. Yeah. So what'd you do today? 50. And what are you gonna do tomorrow? 60. Very good. You'll have a good evening, all right? Do you, do you need a ride somewhere or something? Can my friend get a ride? No, I can't do that. It's against the rules. But I'll tell you what. You hungry? You hungry? Come on. Let's go. big guy. You know, sports is really a microcosm of society. You could be up by three and lose by two. You could be down by two and win by one. In life, you have to make good decisions, not sometimes, but all the time, being a good steward over your resources. At the end of the day, you look at life, L-I-F-E, take the L and the E off, it's iffy at its core. Make good decisions. She will. 
What's up, buddy? What's up, man? How are you? How's your family? Everybody's great. Look, I got these two kids here. This girl, Michelle, she's going through some stuff right now. Can you bless her with some encouragement? It'd be an honor. All right. Oh, man. All right. Thank you. Hi, my name is T. Will. Coach Dan told me you guys have some challenges. No, no, I'm good. No, we do. You do have a few challenges? Well, we all have challenges in our life. Every person alive is facing some type of challenge. First of all, challenges are inevitable. Being defeated is optional. Do not settle for being average. You can be great. Be phenomenal. You are a diamond in the rough. I'll see you at the top. <laughs> I'm sorry. I made a bad choice. Well, well, well. Look what the cat drug in. <laughs> Look who decided to come home. Well, as you can see, they let me out. There is a God. Hey, I'm talking to you, girl. Do you hear me? I almost didn't recognize you without the handcuffs. Girl, who the hell do you think you're talking to like that? You want to come up in my house and talk to me like that? You can get the hell up out of here. Enough already. Don't be talking to her like that. She's your child, and this is my house. It's not your house. Go ahead, drink the booze. That's your answer to everything, isn't it? I've just had it with your crap. I've had it with you your crap. Get out. You need to get out. This is your fault. No, my house. You need to go. Huh? You need to go. Girl, you, you, need her. you get better out. get out of here. You, need you better get her. Get out of here. Get the hell out of here. Michelle? Baby girl? Michelle? Into back in jail again. She stole my little girl at the end. She's just, she's hurting herself, and I just, I just can't stand to see her like this. I just, I miss just have been a really bad mom. Don't say that. You're a good mom and a good grandmother. It just hurts me to see her. I just hate this. I just, this isn't what I wanted for her life. Mom is on her own path right now that we can't change. There's nothing we can do right now. Look at me like I'm dirt. I would never. You're my mom. Let's move along, man. Watch your head, man. How was your day? I made the swim team. I'm so proud of you. Good for you. Just give it your best. That's all you can do. I will. What's this, Mom? <sighs> Drugs got caught again. What's new? I can no, no, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. Go take a nap.
I was always the bad seed. Like there was something wrong with me. Defective, like I was a mistake. And I just never understood why. I was a teenager and played around like most teenagers do. Glasses, man, you can't see nothing. Michelle, come here. Michelle, come here. What are you doing here? You, 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 you okay? Have a seat. What's going on? I'm sorry, Pastor. It's just. So much has happened. Michelle, it's okay. At least you made it this far, right? I mean, you're close. Listen to me. Listen to me. Everybody has doubts. Even Jesus Christ had doubts. So you're not alone. Understand? Look at this building. Look at this place. It's all God's work. And you don't have to come in here if you don't want to. In fact, when you believe in God, you can pray anywhere you want to. On the streets, even if you stop in Starbucks and have a coffee, you want to take a minute to talk to God. He's always available. Even online. <laughs> you understand? So much has happened, and now I'm just wondering what's happening to me. You mean with all you've been through? Yeah, I mean, I'll never get my family back. Oh, don't say that. You'll get your family back. You gotta have faith. You understand? Now listen, I gotta go. But I want you to know I'm always here for you, if you want to talk. And I want you to remember, God is always listening. You understand me? Thank you, Pastor. All right. Something I've never told anyone. I was raped my second year of high school. for coming. Is mom here? Yeah, she's here. She's outside. She brought me. Okay. How are you? At school? It's going good. How are your grades? Are you keeping your grades up? Mom, let's not actually pretend like you care. What? Nothing. My grades are good. Michelle, I know that I'm not much of a mother to you but I'm gonna make it up to you when I get out of here. It's okay, Mom. It's not okay. <sighs> um, don't start. And I wanna turn this around. I don't need a mom. Yes, you do. Mom, you don't have to do anything. I wanna try. Can you just make it out of here, please? Things should be different. I promise. 
No promises. I'll show you. Then I met Daniel Taylor. And the next thing you know, I was a mom. This beautiful little girl. Everything was perfect. <laughs> we got a new start, ain't we? Yeah, Dad. We got a new start. It's your food. So, what are you going to do? What do you mean what I'm gonna do? Nothing is what I'm gonna do. No, Dad. They work more than that. You're right. You've gotta get a move on. You have an entire life ahead of you. I could've fooled me. You always tell me you have to make a choice. Either take one road or another. I love you, Dad. You know what they say. Get a life. All right. I'll do that. Your dad, right? No. I got this. You've done it for me once. I don't remember. Liar. Thank you. Are you looking for someone to work in the store? I'm looking for someone reliable. Stick in school. I was actually thinking of someone else. Thank you. I don't, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I say you're ready. Well, but look the way I'm dressed, though. <sighs> I think you look great. Plus, you still got your boots. Yeah, but these people, they, you know, they're... They're looking for someone who's, who's, um, who's younger than me and who's more reliable, and, you know. What are you gonna do all day? Sit on the couch and watch daytime TV in your pajamas? Why not? Because I don't want to sit and watch you turn into a vegetable. What kind of vegetable? Couch potato. Oh, hey. I, I don't know. Dad. He seems, he seems busy right now. Can I help you? Are you Mr. Han? Yes. I'm Daniel. I'm uh, Michelle's father. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Nice, yeah, nice to meet you. She's a good friend of you. Thank you. Um, are you, are you looking for someone to work, uh, to work in the store? Um, if you're not, I, I mean... No, no, I, I, I need someone to help. I, I did a number on my back, and uh, I could use some help around the store, someone to take deliveries. Um, I'd like to apply. Not many hours. It's okay. The job can get dirty. It's fine. You're a soldier, right? Was two tours of Afghanistan. You got the job. You want it? Yeah. You want the job, right? Yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah, I, um... Let me show you what I need from you. Okay. Maybe you won't want it after I show you. No, I, I want it, no, I <laughs> You just set a new school record. You're going to regionals. So how was school today? It was good. Um, I broke the record in the 100 freestyle, <laughs> and I have regionals in two weeks. Wow, that that's great. That's amazing. But um, how was school today concerning schoolwork? Dad, don't bother. I'm just interested, Michelle. What's wrong with that? Come 
Are you okay? Sally, are, are you, you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. Just get me up. Just get me up. Okay. Get me in my bed. Come here. Okay. I'm just tired. Just let me rest. Okay. Grandma, okay. okay. are you okay? Stay with you're her. Okay. Come on, I'm on my No, Daniel, sure. don't. Grandma, you need to see a doctor. No. You have to see a no. doctor. Please. I'm just tired. I'm so tired. I'm just tired. Um, so how is she? She's not in pain, and at this point, the best thing we can do is to make her comfortable. Okay, okay. I'll be back tomorrow to give her her medication. Right. Thank you. Thank you. can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God will cut you down. Sooner or later, God will cut Boy, you down. as much as it has pleased the Almighty God to take out of this world the soul of Sally Fredericks, we therefore commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. You know, um, most of y'all know me, and I have probably officiated over a hundred funerals. But this funeral right here today is real person. You see, Sally Fredericks was a friend of mine. In fact, I've known Sally Fredericks for over 25 years. And for all of you all that knew her, you know that she was a kind, loving, gentle woman. One of the most God-fearing women I've ever known in my life. So this funeral right here for me is, is very personal. And oftentimes like this, difficult times, we, we want to remember what Joshua said. Have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. And as we go from this place to the repast, keep her memory in mind. So this is not a sad occasion. We want to go from here and celebrate the life of Sally Fredericks. God bless you all.
to roll. Yeah. Hey, Dan. I, I, I'm sorry for your loss. You know, Sally was a great person, a loving person. She was. I know that I have not been the same since I got back. And, and to be honest, I just feel lost without purpose. Well, you know, Daniel, as human beings, we don't always do our best. You understand? But the God I serve has a purpose for all of us. So you're here right now. You understand? So the most important thing is being a great husband and being a good father to your daughter. You understand me? I do. But I've done things and I've hurt them. And I don't know if they'll forgive me. I don't think they should. Through God's love comes forgiveness. You understand? See, throughout all your troubles, Dan, God was right there. He was your protector. You understand? I've always been a soldier. Mm -hmm. and without that, as, as part of my life, it's, I feel like nothing. Worse than nothing. But let me tell you something, Dan. We all love you as a soldier and as a human. You understand? But right now, it's important that you be a good father and a good husband. And just remember, God says you only need faith the size of a mustard seed. So don't you ever give up. You understand me? Don't ever give up. Hey, there's your wife. Go talk to her. Always here for you. Okay. Mary. Mary. She was one hell of a broad. You can't say that. Yes, yes, I can. Well, she's in heaven with the angels now. Mary, do you you wanna you wanna try this again? What is that? What does it look like? I may need it. So, you're digging? Yeah. I'm gonna build a garden. Oh. Well, good luck with that. You know what, Michelle? It may be crazy to you, but I'm trying to keep my mind off of other things and move on with my life. It's not easy. I mean, something just took control over me that I couldn't help. Are you going back to the booze? I'd like to know so I can be ready. No, I'm not going back to the booze. I prayed to God and he forgave me. And if he can do that, you should be able to do that too. You know, regardless of what you think, I love you. I really do. Now I'm just gonna go build my garden. God's garden. He'll protect me. Mom.
I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I know you're trying. And if you're willing to try, then I am too. Me and God, we're working on this together. Imagine that. I love you. I really do. I love you too, baby. I haven't seen him in a while. You know what? I should take the car. Are you sure? Yeah. Thank you. Hey there. How you been? Good. How's your new foster family? Oh, good. Best foster family I ever been with. It looks like it's gonna rain. Get in. Hey there. Oh, hey. How are you? Good. Hey, where, where'd you get sandwiches from? Subway pitched in. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Look, uh, right on time, I brought some umbrellas. Right, just when we can use them. <laughs> you got umbrellas for everybody to keep you dry. It's great you guys come down and help out the homeless. Yeah, never forget them. Never forget. Great. So, uh, is that going to happen, Pastor? Oh, yeah. Oh, God's going to happen, whether you believe it or not. You're here, aren't you? Yeah. That's God working. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta get out of here, but listen. Everybody, you guys stay dry. Umbrellas for everybody. Keep you dry, okay? All right, I'll talk to you soon. Okay? Thank you. Look back on life, see how far you've come. The love you gave, the good that you've done. Throughout the hurts, the aches and the pain. Throughout the storm, the winds and the rain You keep the pace no matter how long You give me strength to keep right on You keep the pace no matter how long You give me strength to keep right on You made it through, yeah? Yeah, we did. Sandwich? You are a strong one. No. You're a strong. Eat your sandwich. Go tell that long tongue liar. Go and tell that midnight rider. 
Tell the rambler, the gambler, the backbiter, tell them that God's gonna cut them down. Tell them that God's gonna cut them down. Well, my goodness gracious, let me tell you the news. My head's been awake with that midnight dew. Well, I've been down on bended knee, talking to the man from Galilee. He spoke to me in a voice so sweet. I thought I heard the shuffle of an angel's feet. He called my name and my heart stood still. When he said, John, go do my will, go tell that long-tongued liar. Go and tell that midnight rider. Tell the rambler, the gambler, the backbiter. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God will cut you down. Sooner or later, God will cut you down. You may throw your rock or hide your hand Working in the dark against your fellow man But as sure as God made black and white What's down in the dark will be brought to the light You can run on for a long time Run on for a long time Run on for a long time Sooner or later God will cut you down Sooner or later God will cut you down Go and tell that long tongue liar Go and tell that midnight rider, tell the rambler, the gambler, the backbiter, tell them that God's gonna cut them down, tell them that God's gonna cut them down, tell them that God's gonna cut them down. Cut them down.